The U.S. anti-doping agency has brought charges against seven-time Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong. The cyclist, who retired for a second time last year, could face a lifetime ban and be stripped of his award if he is found to have used performance-enhancing drugs. The charges come just months after federal prosecutors dropped a two-year criminal investigation against him. Well, for more on this, let's cross to Washington to our correspondent Jane Little. And Jane, Lance Armstrong has already come out fighting, saying these are the same charges dropped by the Justice Department. So explain what's changed. Well, at, at the time that these charges were dropped in, in February against him, the anti-doping agency suggested it was still pursuing a case. Now we've got this elaborate 15-page letter accusing him and five others, including two former team officials and three doctors, of a pervasive pattern of doping, as it puts it, over many years, including uh, the years during which he won seven consecutive Tour de France's from 1999 to 2005. It says... Uh, the uh, agency says that it's got uh, 10 cyclists as well as uh, former um, cycling employees uh, who witnessed Lance Armstrong taking banned substances, including uh, the blood-boosting, performance-enhancing drug EPO, as well as testosterone and blood transfusions. So it clearly thinks it's got a strong case here. Uh, for his part, Lance Armstrong um, suggests that it's a vindictive case against him, that he's always denied allegations, that he's taken more than 500 drugs tests in the past and never failed one, as he puts it. And he said it was motivated by spite and advanced through testimony bought and paid for by promises of anonymity and immunity to other cyclists. So he's clearly very angry about it and he's going to fight it all the way. And it's not surprising that he's angry because these stakes are very high. Indeed. I mean, his reputation is on the line. He's not only a hero to cycling enthusiasts, but to millions of others around the world through his uh, Lance Armstrong Foundation. You may recall uh, he famously survived testicular cancer, went on to found the Live Strong campaigns, uh, hundreds of millions of dollars raised to support three, uh, people through cancer. So he's really a, a hero on the bike and off it. And he faces being stripped of uh, all of his medals and awards and immediately back and from competing in triathlons, which he's taken up since he um, retired for a second time last year. So a lot at stake for him. Jane Little in Washington, thanks very much with the latest there. Now, Rico, the head of the American banking giant JP Morgan Chase has appeared at a US Senate hearing.